Welcome to architectural series, Architects Talk, uh, sponsored by Kalevodur. Mm -hmm. uh, today we have very, two very distinguished guests, actually. Uh, Beatrice Colomina and Mark Bigley. First of all, thank you very much for being with us, for giving your precious time to us. Uh, and uh, uh, yesterday we had a wonderful lecture. Uh, from you in Middle East Technical University. Uh, maybe, uh, I, I mean, you're already known by the Turkish, uh, especially in the academicians, mm -hmm. uh, within the academicians, but after this uh, Istanbul Design Biennale thing, mm -hmm. uh, you are very popular, uh, both in the architectural and the art chambers, let me say. Mm -hmm. So, but still, maybe I can introduce you with few words, uh, as, as uh, already known. Uh, Beatrice Colomina is an architectural historian, and uh, he's, she started in uh, Columbia University, then uh, now uh, she passed to Princeton uh, as the director of graduate studies. Mm -hmm. uh, she's working on uh, media, modernity, sexuality, space, mass media, uh, lots of things at a time. <laughs> so it's very difficult to address a specific uh, issue in a similar way. Uh, I don't know how to uh, uh, address Mark, uh, theorician, academician, <laughs> curator, <laughs> editor. <laughs> um, uh, and. Uh, uh, he started uh, in uh, Princeton, uh, but uh, then became the dean for the Graduate School of Columbia, uh, Graduate School of Architecture. Uh, and you were uh, very well known because of the MoMA exhibition, of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. as anywhere around the world, uh, and uh, the magazine assemblage was significantly important for us. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, Elimtan Museum for giving us this opportunity to be here. Uh, starting from, maybe continuing from yesterday's lecture, mm -hmm. may I start with you uh, asking, uh, how do you uh, locate yourself as an architectural historian? Because the, the issues that we are talking around mm -hmm. is not the classical uh, issues. We are talking about sexuality, media, we are talking about uh, X-ray architecture. Mm -hmm. So it is a little bit different than uh, the classical definition of architecture. How do you locate yourself as an architectural historian? Oh, well, thank you very much for inviting us to, to be here. We are very happy to participate in this uh, program. First of all, I study architecture. Uh, and then only afterwards I did the PhD. So I did my PhD already when living in, uh, um, in New York. And uh, in fact, uh, I was uh, first a fellow in the, uh, as I said yesterday during the le lecture, in the New York Institute for the Humanities, which was a very interdisciplinary think tank uh, and uh, institute where there were people from other disciplines, people like, uh, I don't know, Susan Sontag, or Will Wolf and Sybil Bush, or Richard Sennett, uh, etc. And then completely um, changed my way of thinking about architecture. It was the very beginning of my uh, PhD, and I started thinking about integrating uh, the thinking of architecture as part of uh, culture in general. Uh, so all these things that you think are not classical actually are very much part of architecture as That's well. There's really a lot of architecture in literature. Uh, there, there's no way to think about uh, uh, the city without uh, about thinking all the other manifestations of uh, culture. So I don't think of architecture as an isolated discipline, but I think of architecture as part of culture. And I'm much more interested in addressing a much more uh, wider uh, public uh, and in fact, uh, you know, my books are not read by architects uh, only, but That's by true, yeah. a huge amount of uh, different uh, disciplines, from film to literature to art to I don't know what. And I think that is uh, actually very important that we don't uh, isolate architecture from the rest of the uh, cultural production and also from people's life. 
I mean, architecture is part of, <laughs> of everybody, uh, that, everyday yeah. life. Mm. Actually, assemblage uh, was a ground for this multidisciplinary uh, discussions in mm -hmm. architecture. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I, I have m nearly the old copies, but was mm -hmm. it 40 or 41 or something like that uh, mm -hmm. till it has been ended? Uh, and uh, uh, I don't know, maybe when, when I look at it, it mm -hmm. is a magazine that we need today. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Why? 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 Well, I think I, it's you're asking an interesting question. I mean, Assemblage was a magazine founded by Michael Hayes, who was um, doing his PhD in um, MIT, and immediately it kind of galvanized a generation of which we are part. But you had been the editor for, for some no, 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 we no. were on the board. We were both we were on the editorial board. Yeah, we were on the editorial board. So yeah. we were kind of like a gang. Mm, yeah, I know. Uh, and, and this gang was coming, in Beatrice's case, from Spain. I was coming from New Zealand. People were coming from the south. But also, some people were coming from physics. Some people were coming from literature. Yeah, some people from philosophy. Oh. So it was this moment in the middle of the 1980s, when a new generation, all of whom had a d deep love for architecture, had also something like a deep uh, disappointment. Mm -hmm. That yes. maybe architecture could play uh, a stronger role, and therefore we needed a, a new, new set of ideas. Uh, for us, as, as human, we may be the only species that systematically has managed to design their own Extinction. I mean, other animals were extinct, become mm -hmm. extinct because of it, us. It but is, but yeah. the, we are the only ones that have done it for ourselves, like very systematically, and we, we are on our way to accomplish it unless somebody stops us or, yeah, yeah. or we stop ourselves. But it's kind of getting late. So yeah. we also want to address this issue. Yeah, and I, I th this is such a beautiful point that Beatrice makes, and, and it takes your attention away from just the city, mm -hmm. but the whole. I mean, really, to, to, to think of design as almost a continuous layer. Mm -hmm. And so in the exhibition, we try to show that the Mediterranean mm -hmm. is, let's say, more designed than a city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very precise uh, space. Mm -hmm. And the tragedy that we watch is, is related to this design. Mm -hmm. So r rather than complain about real estate development mm -hmm. uh, in Istanbul, more interesting it is to discuss the design of the Mediterranean. Uh, you know, there are, I, even the British word, you know, the expression Middle East, mm -hmm. it's a design. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, it's a really a design and an and, and, and ugly design. Mm -hmm. you, you want to add another ugly design? The suburbs, this mm -hmm. American invention. Mm -hmm. This is a more or less criminal model mm -hmm. of how we live together on the planet. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is the worst export of the United States. Gated yes. society. Yes. So, so this, and, and, and just the um, idea of spending so much resource to have everybody spread so, with so much. Mm -hmm. So these are the really terrible models. Compared to that, uh, mm -hmm. compared to the American suburb, mm -hmm. Istanbul is infinitely beautiful, even in its current chaotic, mm -hmm. overdeveloped craziness, mm -hmm. which is still um, more beautiful, more, more, mm -hmm. more humane, more cosmopolitan, m m better, better, better than the American suburb. <laughs> it, For it, sure. It reminds me the words of Jean Baudelaire. I mean, he, he, he counts a lot of negative aspects about New York. I mean, mm -hmm. it's crowded. I mean, everywhere there's dust and <laughs> crime and everything, everything. And at the end, he finishes the sentence with, I, I can't think, imagine a world without New York. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot imagine a world without Istanbul. Yeah, that's, sure. that's, that's sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Are there any clues about the exhibition, the Biennale exhibition? What kind of clues do you want? We offer a lot of clues. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what will we see uh, in mm -hmm. the exhibition? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, there, um, there were participations we will, and there were we'll, suggestions. We will as I occupy five different venues mm -hmm. of, of, uh, of Istanbul. Each venue has a different personality. One is a school, one is a laboratory, one is a broadcast station, mm -hmm. one is a time machine, and one is a museum. Mm -hmm. So in each space, a different personality and around 80 different uh, participants mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. from different fields. 
-hmm. and different countries. Yes, different definitely. countries, many, many from Turkey, many from outside, but what actors, artists, designers, uh, mm -hmm. but also filmmakers, uh, you know, philosophers. So there is a disciplinary variety as scientists, well. Yeah. Brain uh, scientists, brain scientists, I mean, people from very different it's parts of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. And so we will talk about design in terms of uh, archaeology, but also in terms of the design of the planet and in terms of the design of the of the body and yeah. the <laughs> design of the of the uh, of the space of social media, the design of the of the cell phone, and, and so many different aspects yeah. of uh, of design. So it's a very comprehensive. Uh, and when you are coming back. Next uh, time, we don't know. We, don't know. Uh, we come back a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think the main thing is this question, are we human? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and we are asking each, we wrote a manifesto, as you yeah. know, and we invite all these different people to, to respond. To respond. Mm -hmm. And the visitor um, is the most interesting mm. object. Object of the <laughs> exhibition. <laughs> yeah. right. okay. It's the right. most designed, uh, the most, uh, and, and so we, we, we we think it's a very urgent question. Are mm. we human? Mm. And, and we, the real clue for the exhibition is we will ask that question again and again and again. Mm. But the exhibition becomes... Not expecting to find an answer. No, Maybe. well, we don't Multiple know. Answers. Multiple, Multiple answers. Multiple answers. Yes, 80 Maybe. answers at least. <laughs> <laughs> from 80 different teams. Yeah, that's many ways to... But maybe so it will be very dense, very multi-dimensional, not a trade show. Mm -hmm. um, and the visitor who could be a member of public or a member of the profession or mm. intellectual, they will all be asked to consider whether they think of themselves as human or not. Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. <Yeah. laughs> and when, one last thing is the, the relationship with the Archaeological Museum is very, very important for us. That it is one of the venues mm. of the exhibition and our most important partner. The main argument is to say design is, uh, what is archaeology? Archaeology is design. Mm -hmm. A design biennale will be about archaeology. Yeah, and I, th I think the, the, this whole uh, process and the uh, product will be open to lots of alternative grounds to continue with, I mean, yes. lots of uh, writings and discussions and mm -hmm. maybe papers, <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know, and uh, we, we will be talking it a lot. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for thank you. being You're with welcome. us. Uh, would you like to add anything uh, that uh, you would like me to ask, maybe? <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, no, I think your questions very, were really very, very, good. very interesting, and, and um, for us it, it is a very exciting mm -hmm. and urgent project, and yeah. we have a little bit the feeling that um, in Istanbul, we can really ask what is design in a way you cannot in London or New York or Paris, yeah. where everybody thinks they know. Yeah, okay, that's, that's I think. So the place that has the longest history of design, Istanbul, is the place that is less, is less sure what is design. Hmm. So that's the right place to talk about. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of the key. Sentences. The young places, Paris, mm. New York, <laughs> London, these places with a very short history, they think they know. <laughs> That's true. Okay, thank you very All much right, for being you. with us. Hope to see you again mm -hmm. soon. It's a pleasure. Many times. A pleasure. All right, thank you very much.